Another way of treating soft soils is using the low embankment method. And I know it's one of your favourites, Steve. The low embankment method, what's all this about? Well, the low embankment method is really about trying to keep the load off the soil and limit the amount of settlement we have. So we're building the embankment just high enough to give us the flood immunity we need so that the road keeps open. This means we put the embankment there and over the construction period of about two to three years, it will tend to settle between about 300 mils and 600 millimetres to get that initial settlement out. We'll then open the road to traffic. After about 12 months, we'll put a final asphalt layer on of about 45 millimetres to make sure the ride's smooth and the road's functional for the road user. That embankment will continue to settle over the next 20 to 40 years. And every five to 10 years, we'll have to come back and do a correction course of pavement from 50 to 200 millimetres thick, just to reinstate our flood immunity and get our ride right. So this is what we call controlled settlement? Yes, it's, we're, we're trying to control it and manage it. So it avoids having the really high initial construction cost to build it all out, but still delivers the benefits to the road user. Okay, now we're on a seemingly innocent stretch of dirt road, but no, there are a lot of things happening on what we call a low embankment section. And Richard, this was once part of the cane field, but this now is part of the new bypass. Tell us what's happening right here. To start with, uh, all the cane had to be slashed and removed. Um, then, because the ground's so poor through here, you've got to be able to get the machines in. Uh, and sometimes when the embankment's really low, you dig out some of the muck and replace it with a rock. Uh, other times you just place the rock there. Then we get the big machines in and, and build the smaller graded rock here up to what you see. Okay, so this is not exciting bridges or wicks. This is just basic road building, but it's where you have to sort of predict, try to predict what nature does. And of course, nature will always do what she wants to do. Well, that's right. You know, we've got four kilometres of low embankment. Uh, things have been deposited differently, different types of materials. Uh, so we monitor very closely with those settlement plates behind us uh, and then respond according to what they show. It's the most economical way to build a road, but of course it will require upkeep. That's right. There'll be planned maintenance over uh, the 40 year life um, and that's all been taken into account. Now, as we've said, this road will require maintenance. How will we know if the road's moved and cracked and, and how, do, how do we know when to fix it? We monitor it very closely over its uh, construction period and also afterwards. Uh, what we have right here is a settlement plate. Here's a protective cover to stop the trucks knocking them over. Okay. And a settlement plate. Uh, we come along periodically and uh, survey the top of this thing. Uh, as the road drops, uh, we figure out how much and how fast. And uh, depending on that information, we judge what we need to do uh, to get what we want to achieve. Now, Rich, I don't want this pole in the middle of my road. Yeah, that's right. So this will go. It'll go. And you'll put a little... We'll have a little survey marker on the side of the road, which will periodically get measured again. Right. And so we'll figure out what happens over 40 years as well and keep, respond to that. Keep a check on it. Yeah. 